Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Those of you that follow my YouTube channel know that the only videos I do that are not photography or video related are the videos I do on Clean My Mac 10. Often, after I post a video, say on Lightroom or Photoshop or on One Photo Raw or Luminar Neo or any of the Topaz Labs apps, someone will comment asking me how I get that application to run so fast on my system. Clean My Mac 10 is the reason why. Clean My Mac 10 keeps my computer running smoothly so all applications, including those photography applications, run as fast as they can run. Now in today's video, I want to talk about a feature of Clean My Mac 10 that I haven't talked about in the past. You may have noticed that I'm doing this recording on my MacBook Pro. I most often do recordings using my iMac. I haven't used my MacBook Pro in a while, and you know, when you haven't used a computer in a while and you turn it on, it needs a ton of updates. And instead of going through each application and updating them individually, Clean My Mac 10 has a feature called Updater. With Updater, it just monitors the apps on your computer, and if you need an update, it will allow you to do it through Clean My Mac 10. Now, as you can see, I have it open, and over here on the left-hand panel, we see Updater. If I click on that, you can see that it's showing five different apps on my MacBook that need to be updated. You can see Zoom, Scrivener, Final Cut Pro, iMovie, and ScreenFlow. I don't have to open up these apps individually to update them. All I need to do is select the ones I want to update, say all of them, and then click Update, and they'll all be updated through clean my Mac 10. It's as easy as that. One thing that always bothered me is if I'm working in an application, say Lightroom, and I want to jump over to a plugin, let's say Topaz Labs Denoise AI, it always would disrupt my workflow if I jumped into Denoise AI and then all of a sudden that little box pops up saying an update is available. My personality being weird, I feel like I have to update it before I continue with my workflow. So that would always kind of throw me off. Well, now, periodically, when I run Clean My Mac 10, I just go to Updater and make sure that all of the apps on my system are updated. Now, in the description below this video, I'll have a link to their website. I am an affiliate for McPaw. McPaw is the company that uh, makes Clean My Mac 10. I also have a promo code that will save you some money. I'll have that listed below. They do have a fully working free trial. Also, McPaul has something called Set App. Set App is really cool. It's for like 10 bucks a month. It's a subscription, 10 bucks a month. You have access to like, I think over 200 different applications, fully working versions, fully working versions. So you could subscribe to Set App for $10 a month, and you could download a fully working version of Clean My Mac 10 from Set App, along with like 200 other different applications. They have applications on photography, on video, uh, different utilities, um, all kinds of stuff. They have all kinds of stuff. So I'll have a link to Set App as well. Maybe you prefer to get Clean My Mac 10 through Set App, and if you do, I'll have that linked in the description below this video as well. So that's it. Very short video today. I just wanted to talk about this updater feature in Clean My Mac 10 that I haven't discussed in the past. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.